What up YouTube viewers and welcome to Zeus Straws. In today's video I'm going to be customizing these super awesome jeans. Folded by yours truly. Look at that perfect fold. Pretty cool. So you know if you got them sweaty, sweaty kneecaps and you need to breeze them out you know you can just unzip these bad boys and there you go right now I'm struggling because I'm doing this with one hand. But yeah, cop these at the thrift. They're uh what brand is this? They're Zara Man, Zero Man, and they're 32. I customized these and I thought that maybe some pop art inspired stuff would be suitable. So let's actually get over to the station over here and get started on that. Wait, wait. Started off this project with a fine tip black marker to outline all the designs I was going to do on these jean skis. And these are the supplies that I use. Don't get it confused. Frick, frick. <laughs> but used the textile medium, mixed it with the white to create a base under the color paint. So that way it would pop and also it wouldn't wash off whenever I wash these jeans. The same thing for the front and also this back side right here, which is you guys will see if you stay till the end, is our, my favorite part of these jeans. But starting off, because Mickey only has three colors, black, white, and red, I used that and I picked Mickey and gave him those uh, popular cause eyes, just X's over the eyes. Because first of all, Mickey is dope and I've always loved Mickey since a youngster. And cause is just cool and you know all the cool kids are putting X's on eyes. So I figured I'm gonna do that for this side. And then on this side, the left side, I decided to do some Keith Haring inspired art. Now Keith Haring was an artist who was popular in the 80s and the 90s. Even today his art is still around and I'm starting to see it more on like clothing which is really cool but I really like his art because it's so simple it's like cartoon hieroglyphics to me and the simplicity is awesome and like the meaning behind it can be big so it's like you don't need to be super intricate and detailed with your designs to make a statement or anything you know, Keith Haring's art really shows that, so I love his art style and everything he did. So, you know I had to put that in here. the jeans and then you will see everything that I mean <laughs> this backside was actually inspired by Andy Warhol's 32 cans of Campbell tomato soup if you don't know Andy Warhol he was popular in like the 60s and 70s and like I said with Keith it's also popular to this day he made those paintings where it's like a collage of celebrities or famous products for example, he did like Marilyn Monroe and there's like different, it's like in a collage form with different colors. And I just like his style and what he did. So that was the inspiration on this one. And I had to throw that in the back pocket. Some tomato soup, y'all. I'm more of a chicken and broccoli kind of guy. <laughs> a 
let me know in the comment section what kind of soup you guys be eating these days and also wrapping it up here is gonna be me rocking the jeans let me know in the comment section what you think drop a like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe for more art peace and love until next time keep creating keep it trill